Yo, what is up guys? Uh, it's Mono, and I really need a new intro because everybody in this community does this intro, and I hate it. But, I don't know what I could do, so for now, this is what it is. One day it's just going to switch, and you guys are going to be surprised. But this is a uh, carrying in doubles. Um, I have that series in Ghost. Bringing it back, I guess, right now. I don't know how often I'll get gameplays or whatever. But, um, so yeah, this is carrying in doubles. Um, it's not like a hardcore carry. I think he goes like 1 and 2, and I go 11 and 1. So that's like, we 6-1 him. It's easy, but, you know, I still drop 11 kills and he drops 1. So I'm going to say that I carry him. And in this video, um, just going to talk about the current state of competitive COD. So right now, MLG Columbus is like Thanksgiving, which sucks. And I have a team pass, I'm trying to go, trying to find a team. But, you know, whatever. It's a struggle right now looking for people that are actually committed and not fraudulent and stuff. So, that's my my current background. I play, played in the 5k this uh, last weekend, got like top 16, lost a fuse. It was alright, I guess, whatever. We lost a fuse, that's a good team. It was a close series for the most part. And, um, yeah, so the current state of competitive COD, um, I think we're going to have some serious issues, because right now, we're playing four game types. We're playing Hardpoint, S&D, CTF, and Outplank. And, um, that's just, I don't think that's a very good rotation, because... In best of threes, you don't play all the game types. In best of fives, you play the game types once, and then you play one twice, which is whatever, but I don't know. You know, like, I don't know. Right now, Uplink's incredibly fluky. Um, I can post a video. I'll probably post a video tomorrow. I was going to post one a couple days ago about Uplink in general, but I've been pretty busy. Um, whatever. So, currently we have four game types. And the general consensus is that Uplink is awful. I don't think it's terrible, but it's definitely incredibly fluky. It's it's more fluky than Blitz, in my opinion. And Blitz was just... God, that was something else. You could do whatever you wanted in that. And there was really no consequences. Uplink is similar. Um, I played it in the 5k, and our strategy was basically send one person to the ball, and then three people tell their goal, and just try to pass the ball. Because passing is just like, you can basically throw it across the map, and it's a laser beam. So, Uplink has definite issues right now. Um, the other game types are okay. Um, Hardpoint with the 2.5 respawn delay, I think's a lot better than the hectic no respawn delay. And a lot of people are hesitant, but... If you haven't played it yet with two and a half, definitely give it a whirl because it's far more competitive. Uh, there's actually like punishment, like like the thing with with Black Ops Two was the spawns were good enough that there wasn't necessary for a respawn delay, and also everyone used streaks. So right now the problem is nobody uses streaks, and there is no, like, well, Good before. Job. So there is no respawn delay, and I've, nobody uses streaks. So the, basically it's just chaos, because there's no penalty for you dying. I mean, you can you can put on streaks if you want and just go for them, but there was no penalty. So 2.5 works a lot better. A 2.5 second respawn delay Switching works side. a lot better for hardpoint, in my opinion. So hardpoint is a solid sure. game type. Um, S&D, S&D is really weird in this game, but I don't think we we can get rid of S&D. It's just, it's a cornerstone of COD. It's a cornerstone of competitive COD. I mean, half the people in this community wouldn't even be here without that game type, so I find a hard time for us to get rid of that. And then, CTF is okay. I, don't, I, I like CTF in this game, but it's really um, I don't know. I don't know if it spawns or what it is. But the, there's a lot of problems with CTF, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. I'm a nobody. It doesn't really matter. And um, so, yeah. So, we're playing those four. Um, of those four, 
I would argue Uplink is the one that needs to go because Uplink just it's so fluky right now. It's I think however you do it, uh, it's gonna be fluky. Um, the points, I mean, whatever, it's fine. I like the fact that you have to dunk it for two, and if you throw it in, you get one. But I don't know. I f it's like so much easier most of the time to just dunk it because the throwing is really odd and stuff so you don't get like good angles you can't throw it very far so throwing is difficult to score and then that brings up the problem of overtime and uplink because if you throw it in uh, they run it through stopwatch so if you throw it in you only get one point but the timer ends but if you dunk it in, you get two points, and then the timer keeps going. Or, or it doesn't keep going. You get two points on the timer runs. So if the other team beats the timer, but only gets one point, like, how does that work? You know, there's just some confusing parts of it right now. So, overall, I think we, we have a good start. We're only, you know, a week in, a week in technically today. I mean, obviously there was day zero and all that stuff. But technically, we're only a weekend. So, for only being this far in, I think we have a good setup. But the problem is, for being this far in, we have the first event in two weeks. So, there are definitely some things that need to get fixed. Currently, I think the biggest changes that need to be uh, made are uh, the stim, which is basically Juggernaut, has to get banned. Um, Cloak, I think, needs to be banned. It's not incredibly OP, but I think that there are some serious issues with it. And in SND, you can do some stupid stuff. And yeah, so I think Cloak and Stim need to go. Um, currently, like, threat grenades and stuff aren't banned. Like, that's crazy to me that you can basically just allow things that... I don't know. They're just... Threat grenades are just incredible. They're like sensor grenades, except they see you through walls and stuff. Which makes them even stronger than the sensor grenades in Black Ops 2. Um, I think... I like the way the, like the gameplay so far. With the, I like how the BAL is just the, the best gun in the game. But... See, everyone wants to nerf the BAL, and I think they... Just need the bow is at a good place right now. Everything else just needs to get buffed. Yeah, buffed. Or, I mean, yeah. I don't think the bow deserves a nerf. That's the only gun in the game that's not awful. Um, so yeah. I mean, those are just some of my thoughts. Uh, four game types isn't gonna work. I think uplink is the one that needs to go. Um, just some simple bands, stim, cloak, grenades. Um, I. I think score streak should be banned, but also I don't know. There's like there are a lot of benefits for score streaks being allowed, but just all the score streaks are really not that great. But yeah, this video is coming to an end, guys. Um, if you have any of your own thoughts or comments, feel free to uh, comment, and I'll uh, try to I'll try to debate with you. Or, you know, you can tweet me if you'd like. I can be a sensible person and have a Twitter argument, because whatever. But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, remember to like, favorite, subscribe. Um, yeah, any questions, concerns, comments, tweet or comment below. I try to read them all. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow probably with another video. And yeah, thanks, guys. Peace. Well done, Sentinel.